Hello viewers, this is your tutorial on how to automate comment scraper on Facebook using Socinator. Scraping targeted comments on Facebook has never been this easy. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your Facebook account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook through Socinator. Let's click Comment Scraper. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to scrape a number of comments within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Comment Scraper activity. Let's begin with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted comments to scrape. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the query type by clicking the drop down button. Once you have selected the query type, you may enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click open. Then click the add queries to the list button and it will be added to the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For post URL, we need a specific Facebook post. Let's say this one, for example, click share, then click copy link. Success. Paste the link in the query box and click add. And it's added here in the queries list. This will target the comments of this specific Facebook post. Next, we have page post comments. We need a specific Facebook page for this one. Let's say the Oreo page, for example, copy the page URL, paste it here, and click Add. This will target the comments on that specific Facebook page. Next, we have group post comments. This time, we need a specific Facebook group. Let's say this How to Draw Manga group, copy the group URL, paste it, and click Add. This will target the comments on that specific Facebook group. Finally, we have newsfeed posts. So this will target the comments on the posts that appear in your Facebook account's newsfeed. So it doesn't matter what you type here. You can type newsfeed, for example, click add, and it will target the comments on the posts that appear in your newsfeed. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say post URL for example, click it and it's gone. The next category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape comments. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 83, medium with 208, fast with 333, and super fast with 500. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Facebook comment is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of comments you set in Scrape Number of Comments Per Job. Scrape Number of Comments Per Job will allow you to specify the number of Facebook comments you want to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of comments to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of scrape max comments per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping comments even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple timeframes in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Facebook comment scraper click save we can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing facebook comment scraper 
The last category is comment filter. This allows us to filter the Facebook comments we want to scrape. The first one allows you to specify how old the comment has been added. So let's say comment added between two to three days, for example. And the last one allows us to filter by comment text. Let's say you want to target positive comments. You can type, for example, nice. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file, comment for example, and click open. And it's uploaded successfully. When you're done, click save. So when you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping comments, let's scroll up and hit save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. To view the comments you have scraped, click the reports button over here. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating comment scraper on Facebook using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the scraper tab and select comment scraper on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Facebook comment scraper. For the query type, let's select group post comments and target the how to draw manga group. Click add. For job configuration, let's select slow. For comment filter, two to three days. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, Click the box of the account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that you have successfully created our Facebook comment scraper campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. You may also click the report button to view the comments you have scraped on Facebook. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.